Queen G5 after G5 was not a safe pre-move. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there was an en passant. Oh my gosh, actually, whoa. I think I pre-moved you right. He can go en passant and I lose my queen. Oh my gosh. Oh, geez. That would have been, that would have been a pretty meme way to throw myself out of contention to qualify. Okay, next round. Sorry. Oh, wow. I play 11 round two. Jeez. Okay. That's a pretty, pretty spiffy second round pairing. Um, 10 0. I mean, it doesn't seem like the right spot to go for broke against Lev, honestly. Let's see if Lev's going to use his Berlin prep. Okay, so he is going to use it. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go here. All right, now the question is, I mean, knight d4, there's this very long d5 line as well. But I think for this game, I'm going to do something unusual. Okay. Which one do I want to play? I mean, this is tricky because there are a couple options I have here, and I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. Which one do I want to play? Just thinking about this a little bit here. Hmm. Couple different options. Which one do I want to play? This is where it gets tricky because I have to figure out what I'm going to be doing in Berlin as well. Well, okay, let's just not talk. Um, do I want to play that line or the other one? Well, also this is ten o, so there's no, there's no, um, I don't get any time. So, what do I want to do? Just subscribed. Which one do I want to play? Just do this one. Is there so I mean, I guess I go back. C3, I think here I actually might have D5 as a move. I'm just thinking about it a little bit. Also, C3, maybe I even have knight e4. Yay! So he plays D3. So no, I mean, D5 is me move. Knight e4 is definitely a move here. Thanks. I'm gonna play knight e4 and trade. This is probably going to be, this is already very, very drawish, objectively, but with c3, I go back. d4, I have d6, rook e8. In a very, very balanced position. Um, now, g5 is a move here, but I think I'm going to stay stable with d6 first. If, if g5 is definitely a move here um, at some point. It's just a question of when do I want to play it, really. Do I want to play it here? Do I not want to play it? I mean, g5, g4, I believe is okay here already, but... I want to play that. My instinct is that I should actually just stay stable here and not go crazy. On the other hand, on the other hand, I can go crazy. But it's a question of whether I want to go crazy here. And I don't think I, I mean, hmm. Okay, but if I don't go crazy, what else can I really do? I guess let's play here. C6, probably D5. I'm just going to play this very simple and not, not go into any of the crazy messes with G5 that exist. G5 is always a move, but I, I just... Round two of this event doesn't feel like the right time to go crazy. Really doesn't feel like the right time to be, be a lunatic and, and try to play wild chess. Let's see what Lev's going to do here, though. This is very, uh, very stable for both sides at the moment. It's like very stable. G5, H5 is, is always an existing line. Um, question is, do I actually want to play it or not? I mean, that's, that's the big question. I think Lev is actually trying to 
It feels like Lev actually wants me to do it. But I did put the Rook on E8, so it kind of also doesn't make all that much sense either. But when in Rome, 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 let's go for it. Let's go for it. Because now d4 is also not a move because he just loses a pawn potentially here. If I get h4, g4, I mean, yeah, this is what I kind of expect him to do. This is The question is, is this good or bad for me? Like, I really don't know what's going on. He goes queen d2, knight h7, bishop d... Okay, whatever. Let's just go for it. Who cares? I literally don't care. I want to attack. This, this might not be good, by the way, but I figure why not? Who cares? If this is no good, at least I'll figure out why this is no good. I mean, queen d2, knight h7 is what I assume I should... Oh, wait, no. If he goes queen d2, I have g3 first. So, yeah, so he has to take... Now, the funny thing is I can actually take to go g3 here. But then I think queen d2 is just problematic, period. So, I'm going to take with the pawn, so I have bishop e6. It just goes d4. I kind of expected that. I think I should play queen e7, maybe? This looks relatively stable. Just take with a pawn. Queen d2, knight h7, queen h6, queen f6, and it's, I don't really see why it should be much worse. G takes h3 was a move there, by the way, for anybody who's wondering, but I don't really see any reason to get really aggressive here. Only problem is that I'm down a minute on the clock. That's really the only issue that I have at the moment. I do wonder, though, if I had taken what he would have done. What's queen d2 now? Now, I think here I have to play... Knight h7. So I'll pre move pawn takes. We'll see what he's going to do here. I mean, maybe I actually should pre move this because this seems like the safe pre move. Yeah. Oh, he's got f4, which I actually uh, kind of forgot that he had f4. Uh, I was a little bit imprecise with this move where I might be in some trouble now, potentially. So I guess I should take this one. This might be a mistake. I might be in a little bit of trouble now. I think I may, I think I did actually make a mistake here. Um, yeah, I did make a mistake. And now this could get a little bit sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. I guess I'll go here. I think I'm going to have to move quickly. I think I just move quickly and trust my instincts. And hopefully it works out. Although... I kind of forgot that he could play f4, which is why I should have just taken on h3 immediately rather than going queen e7. Now he goes e5, which I understand as a move, but I'm a little bit suspicious of this move because I do have f5 here. Um, but then he has d5. Now I go d5, f5, I take and I'm up a pawn. Wait a second. e5 looks like slightly... No, e5 can't be wrong. Or e5... Okay, I'm going to play f5. This might be bad, but I've got to lock this bishop where the pawn, pawn structure is intact. If he takes, I take, and then f5 doesn't really release because I have a pawn that covers a square. If he takes, I just take, I mean, I guess it's a safe pre move, why not? I'm actually not sure if I like the, the way that, that um, Vet Levon has played this. I mean, I guess I, I mean, I can actually take on d5 too. This is a very strange position. Okay, if I play c5, take, takes queen c3, queen f6, Rook e5. I mean, I'm probably worse. If I do have rook g8. Um, let's see. Queen c3, king g8. Rook e6 takes... Whatever. I just gotta move. I just have to move. I can't get too, too much lower on time here. Basically, the question is, he's got the dark square bishop that's hemmed in by the pawns. Like, even if he gets this, he can't get to d4. So it's a question of, can he activate the dark square bishop, or can he beat me in the center of the board with, like, some rook e6 idea? And that's really what this game is going to come down to. Either he's going to find a way to open up this diagonal for the bishop, or get some rookie six and win the game, or probably I'm going to be able to maneuver and win the game. One of those three outcomes is, will happen here. So we'll see what he does. I mean, I feel like I'm worse. On the other hand, this is a rapid game, and, and this is very computerish. So this could become kind of tricky. Okay, so wait. Bishop c4. Okay, that's a move. If I go rook g8, takes, takes, no good. Queen g7. D6 is not ideal. Okay, I'm still down on time. Rook AD8 looks like a very logical approach, actually. Queen G7 takes 96, Rook E6, 94. 
Oh, whatever. Let's just go. I'm going to, I'm going to trust my instinct. This might not work, but I want to go for it. Cause now when he takes, he releases the knight. And that's what I'm playing for. Basically. I'm also playing for maybe age three, some bishop age three trick. A very tricky position. This is very tricky to play for both sides. Um, very, very tricky. I guess I'll play. Okay, B5 is not a move. Knight G8. He just, Knight G8 takes, takes rookie three. B5 takes rook eight. No, that's no good. Okay, so I got to move. Um, let's just go here. I don't actually know why I played that. That might just be a silly move. Again, I have rook G8 maybe. I also have knight F8. Yeah, I think I just have to move. I just have to move here. I'm down on, I'm down on clock. Uh, it is, again, it is 10-0. Um, so we'll see. I mean, his bishop is bad. My bishop is not great. I mean, we're playing kind of a game of bishops here. Very tricky position for both sides. Probably a little bit easier to play for white, though, objectively. Probably just a little bit easier. So I might be in some trouble here. But okay, I mean, if, if he takes, I have to take e3. So I should just play the pre-move. It's a good pre-move. What he does here. Very, very tough position for both sides. I suspect the computer says this is very good for white, but in, in a rapid game, no increment, time ticking down. I, like, I actually do like my chances, even though I suspect that I'm quite a bit worse here in terms of the objective evaluation. I mean, again, the thing that white has here, though, is this bishop is so bad. Bishop on h2 is so bad because even if it gets a g1, it can't get to d4. So I mean, that's why this is tricky. Okay, so I'll, I'll keep the pre-move in play because I think it's a safe pre-move. What he's going to do here? Okay, he goes bishop b5. I saw this move. I go here. Pre-move again. It's a safe pre-move. The good thing about this position as well is that Lev's moves are, I think, harder to play than mine here. I think my moves here are actually pretty straightforward in terms of what I'm aiming for. I have bishop h3, f3, h3, or knight g6, and it's, it's more on white to prove the advantage than on black to defend. So I, I think actually, even though the position objectively is bad, because it's a rapid slash blitz, blitz game, um, the onus is on the, the player who has easier moves. Sometimes it actually matters more than the objective evaluation. I think that might be the case here. Even though I suspect that in a slow game here, I'm probably positionally lost somehow. Still thinking. So Lev is not seeing, Lev is not actually seeing a win, which is really, really encouraging to me. It's very, very encouraging. Okay, he's down to 320. Time is ticking. I mean, if Lev doesn't find a, a concrete plan here, and I get the knight to g6 where, where it hits f4 and e5, and it guards h4, I think I'm completely fine. Three minutes and ticking. What can Lev do? Lev is thinking. Hopefully I'm not, no, I'm not disconnected. I have, I have all my bars here, so I'm, I'm fine. So, so Lev is definitely thinking. Okay, he goes queen f2, but now I go knight g6. Okay, plays bishop e2. So Lev comes up with a concrete plan here. with so bishop e2. Now I saw that as a move, but I assumed I had something decent here. Um, but I do have to prove it now. So, all right, if I take, he takes f e, b e f e rook d5, queen h5, and queen f5 maybe is problematic. Not obvious, uh, but is there any way I can let him trade is the other question. I don't think I can. Um, ah, this is tricky. I guess I, hmm, I, guess I have to take. He takes with the rook. That's a little bit surprising to me somehow. Okay, um, I have rook g8. I'm going to go here. I just have to make some moves quickly. This time situation is also very, very tough to deal with. So I'll go here. Because takes I have knight f8. That's what I'm banking on, I think. I can also just take... Mm, okay, he goes king h1. So he's, try he's trying to reroute his uh, bishop, I guess. Um, I guess I can play king h7. Knight f8 also looks like a decent move here. 
Because now I can also take with the queen or the rook. Again, very, very tough position to play for both sides here. Very, very tough to play. But I am up a minute on the clock, which, if, I mean, that should favor me. I do have rook g3, maybe? I have rook g3 as a move. Um, queen f2, knight g6, maybe, and knight f4. Again, very spicy. Very, very spicy. Um, trade. What about knight d7, maybe? Knight d7, ed6 is no good. Rook g3, queen f2, knight g6, ed6, rook d6, rook e8, takes, takes. Eh, mm, mm, mm. I mean, spicy, spicy. Ed6, rook d6, bc5, bc5. Very tricky. I don't want to go c4. Rook g4 is actually looks like a very reasonable move here. Oh, I almost slipped. I almost slipped there. I almost took with the wrong pawn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, now, okay, I really need, oh my gosh. That was very close to a mouse slip by me. I almost just slipped the whole thing there. Let's see, so let's go g3, rook d3, e6. Yeah, I've misplayed this. h3, g3. I have rook g6 back. Okay, stop talking and just focus. How do I do this? Um, ugh. Do you have h3 maybe? So problematic. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I just have to move. I, I've got no time. I have to just move. I've misplayed this. I'm probably losing here. Probably go rook g7. Thing is time. I mean, it's still... Time is still kind of in play a little bit. One, that should not be a great move. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's see. I just, I have to, I just kind of have to move because this is, this is a bullet game at this point. I mean, I just have to move basically. And I should have gone rook g3 and then rook g7 too, but whatever. T time is, time is definitely an issue in this game. Um, I just, I just have to make moves basically. I just have to move. Um, I do. Why did wait? Did I just hang this. I did, and I just hung this too. Probably. I mean, uh, to draw, <laughs> okay, I mean, crazy, probably too risky, okay, that was a little bit much too, oh man, Ay, messy game, messy, messy game, but I get the draw, I mean, obviously, a lot of chances, I think, in the middle for Lev somewhere, I probably, for a couple of moves, had a chance too, but the thing is, Lev is getting so low on time there, I mean, maybe I should have gone Rook 7 no, but it's top eight. It's top eight qualified, so that c it can't be right to gamble. Because if I'm wrong and I lose this game, and I like I go, I go here and I try to go for the big cheese with rook g seven. I, I mean, ah, maybe I should. Maybe it was actually. Maybe I should have gone for the win, even though it's completely losing here. Something like something like this. I think. I think actually maybe that was wrong by me. Maybe I should have played on. The more I think about it, the more that I feel like instinctively it was a mistake. I think I should have played on. I should have tried to flag him, I think. I think it was a mistake, though. I do. Now that, now that I look at this position, I think I should have gone rook g7 and tried to beat him on, on time. I think that was a mistake. 
Even though objectively it's no good, he had 35 seconds. But, I don't know. Anticlimactic. Well, I mean, I couldn't play on. I mean, I, I couldn't play on, but like... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, Lev had, Lev had no time. I mean, Lev, had, Lev literally had no time. Like, I mean, he, he had no time. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, this is already very bad somewhere around here, right? Yeah, exactly what I said. Positionally, this is bad, but... Okay. Ah, uh, D takes E5 was actually okay here, so I trade. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I should have tried to flag. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Next game should be starting a second. Um, obviously, a bunch of people on one and a half. Yeah. Yeah, may, maybe maybe I should have. I'm being greedy, flagging a lost position now. Yeah. I could have lost two, though. No, I mean, obviously, we're on the delay, so it's, I mean, I see your questions late. That was in, bet that was in between. I, I, it's very, very close. Like, it was, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure if it was the right play or not play. Maybe a pirate thing, a dollar game for the 10 and 35 months, respectively. I'm really not sure. Really not sure if that was the right play. Here we go. Round number four, we're playing against Le Noderbeck. Okay. Um, well, let's see what Noderbeck has in store. Just keep it simple. Go here. Plays E4, right. So Noderbeck's going to play this line. Um, now he played this against somebody. I forget who he did it against. Uh, go here. Uh, I believe bishop b6 is still the correct move. Uh, he's going to play bishop e3. Okay, this one. Uh, I believe bishop g4. If c5, I just take. Okay, bishop e2. Uh, now, there are many ways to play this. You can take and go bishop d4. I can play knight d4 here. A lot of options. Bishop e3 is actually relatively okay, but I mean, it's very, very slow, and it's not generally a position that I, I'm thrilled by. But you know what? Let's just keep it simple. Let's go here. Plays knight a4, as expected. Why am I seeing the stupid challenges? Um, now, I mean, c5 is obviously a move here. It's not great, but it is a move. I mean, this is the big question mark. Do I play c5 or not? I kind of want to see... I, I, I want to see how strong Noderbeck is in these positions. So I'm going to go c5 here. I mean, knight f3 and bishop e3 is probably just very equal. Like, knight f3, bishop e3 castles, and we just draw the game without much happening. But I, I kind of want to be more on the edge. I really want to see how strong Noderbeck is in this sort of position. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep it more complicated. Because as, as I just alluded to, when you trade down and you go castles, very symmetrical structure, not a whole lot happening, very, very dry. Um, now, I know the computer likes this for white, objectively, but uh, who cares? You just want, I just want to play chess, and I want to see how strong Noderbeck is in these types of positions. So I see no reason not to play like this. Um, so I will just castle here. Probably is okay, so he's gonna take, so I'll take with a pawn. I mean, this is all pretty known. Goes a4, idea is a5, b5, a lot, lot of options for both sides here. I'm gonna go knight e8. Not necessarily the best move to to, to play, but again, I just want I just want to see what Noterbeck is is up to. I just want I just want to really I want to test his knowledge in this sort of position to see how how strong he is in this sort of position, basically. He's using time, and once again, time is even here. So he goes g3, as expected. Um, a lot of options here for both sides. As I said, white should be slightly better, as I recall, but it's not like it's... It should not be anything super critical. So how do I want to do this, though? I guess I'll... Actually, why did I play knight e8? feeling kind of stupid for playing knight e8. I guess I'll go here in knight a6, maybe. feeling actually more than a little stupid. Maybe I'm just queen d7. Actually, maybe I just go here and I stack the two rooks. I'm going to try to do something with the rook stack, maybe. Although, again, I feel like an idiot because all the way back here, I could have gone queen d7, rook a7, rook a8. Like, what am I even doing? I mean, very stupid. Although, he put the bishop on g2, so he can't actually get to b3 easily here. So, it's kind of interesting. Um, I mean, we'll see, what it, we'll, see, we'll see what he plans to play. I mean, I think, I think Noderbeck sees my plan now. Now he definitely realizes I want to do the stack. Um, but again, we'll see, we'll see what, he, what his intention is. Okay, I'm going to go here. He takes, I just take. Okay, plays f5. Now, I saw f5 as a move, but I thought I had some... No, I don't have what I thought I had. I, f I actually feel like a little bit of an idiot here. I feel like a bit of an idiot. Um... 
No, I made I made a mistake in this ordering of how I played this. I guess I go here. I have to play this. He plays b5. Now I think I have to go here. I mean, the thing is, I'm trying to route the knight now. The thing is, this is going to be scary because this is going to turn into an all-out attack. Like he's going to try to attack me on the king side. I'm going to try to break through on the queen side. I'm either going to get mated on the king side or I'm going to get the knight to see if I've taken positionally win this game. This is actually really quite scary for both both sides. Um, because this is going to get messy. This is definitely going to get messy, for sure. I mean, they're going to win this game or lose this game, which maybe is a good thing, because I feel like if I win this game, that really puts me in a good spot to qualify. Like, Fabiano and Jan already drew their game, so... It seems... I mean, it feels like this should be... I mean, we'll see. We'll see. This is going to be messy, though. This will be very, very messy. Um, the thing is, Noterbeck also has to come up with moves, though, because he can't just pawn storm easily, because this pawn in a4 is also very, very weak. So he's also kind of tied down to this pawn at the same time. Um, and so he can't really bring the queen off to the king's side, either. Let's see what his plan is. I'm kind of curious to see how he, how he approaches this. I think he missed 98 there, just, just a guess. But I think he missed the idea of 98. So I think Noterbeck probably thought that here I had to go f6. And if I go f6, it's very weird, because then my knight has no way to get here. Like, I can't get to a6, I can't get to e6, because these pawns cover the critical squares. But the thing is, now I can route here, 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 and put pressure on a4. And I think he just missed 98. So let's see. He goes bishop f3. That makes a ton of sense. I think I should go queen e7 first. Not knight f6, because then g4, and he gets his g5 in. I mean, he can still go g4 here, but then I have queen g5 and knight f6 d7. He's going to have to waste time, and he doesn't have time for queen d2 because he loses the pawn. Plays h4. So yeah, we're going to get into this very messy position, and either I'm going to win or I'm going to lose. Um, well, when in doubt, as they like to say, I can play h6 there. If I want to go h6 is a question g5 takes six knight h7 hmm 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 interesting moments knight c5 f6 gf6 bishop h5 is an idea i wonder if i misplay this maybe i should put the queen on d8 so that i have knight c5 and f6 isn't with a tempo i think i misplayed this too because now f6 always hits the queen whereas the queen's on d8 this, does, this is just aiming at error but all right let's go here I mean, I guess he doesn't have to play g4, though. But g4, and 87, g5, f6 even. I'm very unconvinced that white is actually attacking here. Very unconvinced. Because g4, 97. Okay, he goes rook f2. So I go here. I go knight c5. I mean, I guess, yeah, maybe Noterbeck here, his idea is actually just to hold the position with, like, rook h2 and just... Yeah, I guess this is his idea. Just hold the position and probably make a draw. Which is, which is pretty smart, I think. I, I think this position, there's no way that... Uh, no, I don't think his attack is fast enough here. And if he just holds with like queen c2 and bishop d1, I mean, maybe I can go king h8 and g6 at some moment to try and attack, like swing the rook over. Again, eh, it's tricky though for both sides. The good thing is my knight's where it be my knight is where it belongs. I've got a great bastion. I hit d3. I hit a4. I hit e4 as well. So I've got a pretty solid position now with the knight on c5. And maybe. If I have all the time in the world, I can line up the triple stack and win the pawn on a4, although I think that's a very deep long-term idea that's not realistic here. And Noterbeck is thinking. He goes queen c2. I think I'm going to go king h8. I don't even know if I should, but I figure I have g6 here at some point. He's, he's really, he has to waste a bunch of time here um, on the king side. Now, I can play g6 maybe. Do I want to do it or not? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, this is tough. Um, hmm. If I want to play G, I can also go G five maybe to force him to make a decision. Although G five, he does have H five maybe. G five takes takes King G two Rook G eight. I think I'm in time there. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm gonna go G five. He has on passant H five or H G five. But if he takes and I take and I go Queen E three, I should be fine. The thing with g6 is he has bishop g4. So I think g5 is the right move. I'll pre-move it. It's a safe pre-move. 
Uh, if he goes like queen d2, I can fork with knight b3. Can play h5, I suppose. Although h5 is a very committal move, and it doesn't look like a fun move to play here if you're white. So again, I'll I'll, I'll keep the pre move with queen g5. It's a safe pre move. Um, I expect him to play en passant. That's my guess. I, I think he probably plays en passant, but that does give me the file. And again, in this position, my knight is much better than this bishop. This bishop is behind all these pawns. So really, there's no no diagonal. So I'm playing. we're playing a game of a knight versus a bishop. And I'm also up a lot of time now. I'm up two minutes on the clock, so it's going to be very hard for Noterbeck to play. I mean, I think h5 maybe is... Really don't like h5 as a move. He goes king g3 or king h3, but now I take... And play rook g8. Yeah, I'm actually very skeptical about what Noterbeck is doing here. This doesn't look right at all, actually, the more I look at this. This looks very questionable. Because I think I'm actually quicker on the king side with like queen f6 g7, and there's a lot of stress, a lot of stress points here for white. All these pawns are really, really weak, and I can even go back and then double here. I can go here, here, here. Uh, to e3 even like one two three and bada bing bada boom game over so i think that i'm actually winning here technically i think i'm winning already i mean unless he can get some a5 in maybe get a5 and bring everything back i think maybe he can save it but again i'm very suspicious about this so i'm gonna go here he's got rook g2 but i trade and i mean this bishop is just so bad relative to the knight i mean it's just very very hard for white to play yeah, I think, I think I'm winning here, because I have queen h6, queen e3 even. This must be winning. And, and I'm way up on the clock. I'm up almost three minutes here, so... Yeah, this must be losing. It's just a bad bishop versus a, versus a great knight. That's, that's all this game is about. It's just knight versus bishop. So, I think I'm going to win. I don't really see what Noterbeck can do here, honestly. It looks truly, truly terrible. This looks truly bad for, uh, for white, I have to say. So I think I'm going to win. I think Noterbeck got too aggressive. I think, I think basically he didn't use the time early enough when he played this b5, f5, and he just forgot that I could bring the knight back around. I think he just forgot I had 98, f6, d7, c5, and it's just too much. Just too much. So we're going to get the win here, I'm pretty confident. I mean, obviously, I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't really see good moves for white. Um, I mean, if queen d2 or queen c1, there's knight b3 or the d3 pawn hangs. So again... I think I'm winning. And now I take that, take my uh, one important thing when you play like rapid or blitz online, make sure you take your hand off the mouse, avoid any sort of like mouse slips, anything insane that could happen. Now, I think queen h6 is what I thought was just winning for me. But again, I don't want to jinx myself. But again, like my queen is just and what? Wait, what? I have knight b3? Wait a sec. Oh, I, why did I actually? Maybe I shouldn't have taken right away. But uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken immediately. Now, the funny thing is here. I see his ID. He wants to go rook a2, and he thinks that he can somehow hold this. I don't really believe that he can. Um, but do I take the pawn or not? Huh, this is a tricky spot. Knight b3, rook a2, takes, takes, rook a8, bishop d1. I have no entry squares, though. I have no entry squares. That's very, very strange. So it's very weird, but I think I actually need to take this one very very strange i don't think it works though i actually don't think it works yeah, so it goes f6 but i have here in rook f6 no what am, wait what am i missing let's go here okay and now i just go i mean wait no no obviously wait should i take or not hmm i guess let's go uh he's getting the bishop to f5 though this is Did I just jinx myself by accident here is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I think I go here. Bring the knight back to safe square. I feel like I might have accidentally just jinxed myself. I'm like, I'm going to get the win. It's all over. And now it's like, now it's very much a game. because so I take he has h5 or not. I feel like I jinxed myself like an idiot. Well, I'm trying to think. I can bring the king back around. Oh, I might have made a mess out of this. I think I did make a mess. Very, very poor by me. Huh. Rook g1, king h2, rook a1, rook g2. I did make a mess out of this. Unbelievable. 
I mean, I can bring the king back around. So maybe this, this should just... Actually, no, this should just be winning. I have d5 at some point. No, but now he has ed5, and I feel like an idiot again. Wait, so okay, let's go... h5, h6, I bring the king back. No, I mean, this has to be... If this isn't winning, I don't know what is, honestly. This has to be winning. I put the pawn on h6, of course, at the right moment. And I bring the king back around. h5? Wait, but that allow this allow wait, this allows knight e6 though. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is a mistake. So I think now I have knight e6. Rook g2 and rook g6. Wait, this is a mistake, I think. Knight e6 takes takes rook a2. Wait, wait a second. Rook a2, rook. Or I can also go king f8 and then knight e6, maybe? Maybe I'm being stupid here, and I'm probably, just, I'm probably just overthinking the whole thing. If I go king f8, I hang the pawn. If I go h6, king g4, king f8, I'm going to play rook d1, but I have knight e6, knight g7, knight f5. Or d5, d5, ed5? I mean, oh, wait, maybe I can go d5 here to force him to take with a c pawn, and then go h6 and king f8, e7? Although even that, I mean, is gotten very messy, and I'm kind of annoyed at myself right now for allowing any of this. Let's see, so if I go d5, cd5, h6, rook a2, knight b3, rook a8, knight c5, I mean, that has to be... That has to be winning somehow, but how? Okay, I think I'm going to go for this. I hope this isn't wrong, but I'm going to play it. He takes, I'm going to go h6. And then I'm going to go king f8, bring the king back around. I just have to play this like a blitz game, which is what it is. I mean, this is just a game of minutes here. I mean, I can't ever lose this. I do know that much. Um, my rook is free to go to d6. I mean, I've really hashed this up in a bad way. Uh, I guess I'll go here. But again, like, how am I supposed to win this? This is unbelievable. I'm actually not sure how I'm supposed to win this. Yeah, I have to go back. I have to go here in knight c3 and take a knight d6 maybe? Again, this is very tough. I've really made this tricky on myself. Um, I guess I'll go here. Because now I have knight c5 back. This is what I'm banking on, is that I can go knight c5. I guess I'll go knight c3, rook b8, knight b5. Wait, knight c3, rook b8 takes... Yeah, this... I just have to move. I just have to move. I don't have time anymore. I have to trust my instincts here and just play this position. It should be winning, though. But I, I've really made this messy. I mean, I have knight d5 also. Um, I'm up 40 seconds, so I mean... So I just take, go here, yeah, bishop c8 or something. But I mean, once the pawn runs, I mean, once my pawn runs here, I don't see how he can possibly draw this. I guess I go here, go here and king c5 and b4. Now, now I think I win the game. Now I definitely win. Really made a mess out of this, though. D4. I mean, again, he doesn't have any moves here. Everything's kind of stuck. I mean, I guess he can move the bishop away or something to, like, c6. He goes rook b3. Now, I know I'm winning here, but I still need to be a little bit precise. Or I think I do. Did I just zugzwang myself? Go here, maybe? King g4. I check him and make a mate? No, I can't. Okay, so let's go... Here. I'm gonna hit the pawn on. Oh, maybe I had, maybe I had h5 there, which was good. But okay, it goes h5 now. I guess I'll go back. And now like the king is cut, and so now I have rook f4, and now his king is passive, and now I win the game. Again, very very messy technique. I'm not really playing this superbly, but I still should win. Let's go check here. King b4 and b2. I mean. But I let him get the B D pawn rolling, which was kind of stupid by me, I have to say. Yeah, this is just winning. Why did I play rook f4? There was no need. I mean, there's no need for this at all. I go here in rook d6, and I win. But 
Very, very poor. I check the king for no reason. Leave the rook on f6. The pawn doesn't run, and I just win the game. It's also got 20 seconds, so I'm going to win on time too, but not the best game I've ever played, that's for sure. Uh, I think I just take unless I'm blind. I just take and make a queen, and now I win the game. Go here. Save king, no checks. GG's. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Another win. Three and a half out of four. Not a great game, but we got the dubs and it's all good. So, all right. I think we got a, we got a short break here, as, I'm, as I recall. Um, so let me turn on the second cam. I'm going to open Slack. and let's, I think it's a break after round four. Let me double check. But get the win. Not the best game ever. Should have been cleaner, but I win. Thank you to Aiden Chess for the 31. TJFC for the 7. Drew Dog for the 5. Popeye Dude for the 36 months. La Anu for the 5. Tensi Vulcan for the 6. Thank you to Nick Green for the 3 months. Much Nick Green. Thank you to Carolina Mike for the nine months as well. Thank you so much. Um, there's one more sub. Thank you to the BME for the two. You know, M1 NTTZ for the prime. Appreciate it. All right, you guys, gonna be taking a short break. Actually, let me double check with let me ask the mods. Um uh I think there's a break here, but let me let me double check. Uh I think there's a break. But yeah, we we, we get a win. I mean, obviously, very, very tough game. Found a way to win, but that's uh, all good. All right, I think I, I don't know what's going on, but I, I think there there's a break here. Um, double check. Let me double check. Okay, my mods aren't answering, but I'm pretty confident the break's after round four. Uh, it could be after round five. Fork the rooks. The computer said so. I suspect that that was the right way to play it, but I didn't see a way to break through. I mean, maybe at some point I do the same thing I did in the game, but I go d5 somewhere and it's winning. But I just, I wasn't convinced that it was good. I, I wasn't actually convinced that it was working. Um, too strong? Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Knight b3 with the fork was worth it. I mean, I, I can obviously check, but, but yeah. Queen g5 after g5 was not a safe pre-move. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there was an en passant. Oh my gosh. Actually, whoa. I think I pre-moved you right. He can go en passant and I lose my queen. Oh my gosh. Oh geez, that would have been that would have been a pretty memey way to throw myself out of contention to qualify. That would have been extremely memey. Okay, there's a break here, so I'm gonna take a short break and we'll be right back, you guys. It's unlikely, but outside he's got the worst tie break though. Like Wesley's got the absolute worst tie break. So I play Demchenko. Let me minimize everything. You guys should see the screen. That's good. There we go. All right. Thing is, Demchenko can play e4, d4. I don't know what he's gonna do here. Is he gonna try to make a draw also? Uh, or is he going to play Italian? He's going to play Italian. Okay, so we're going to get a game, I guess. Go here. Um, I mean, all these lines are playable. I'm just going to go bishop e7, d6. Actually, I had this against Demchenko before. Just trade off some pieces here. Go queen d7. I mean, I'm just going to castle, play d5. I mean, it's all very slow. Actually, queen d7 is not a very good move by me, but I'm, I'm going to try to play fast. I'm just going to play this game very fast. I'm actually going to do my best uh, Nepo Man impression here. Um, I don't actually know. Is this a move or not? Is that a move? I think it is a move. I think it is, but I'm going to go here in knight g5. I'm just going to keep this very, very simple. trade because b4 not a very surprising move uh i can play rook f7 i guess b5 knight a5 should be fine i mean i feel like i'm playing this a little bit too loosely though I'm being a little bit too loose i think with my approach in this opening it feels like i'm just moving too quickly just just making moves and not thinking so i'm not so happy with my approach i mean i guess i just go rook f8 i'll pre-move this because this is a safe pre-move um, but I, yeah, I feel like I'm being a little bit too, uh, too loosey goosey here. Too loosey goosey at the table. Can't be eating a sandwich, you know, the usual. Let's go knight a5. I'm gonna take, of course. He does have d4 here, but I'm gonna trade and then go like rook af8. And I don't actually know if this is good or not, but I mean, he has some compromise. He has a compromised queen side a little bit once I go c6 to chop the structure. So he plays d4. I expected that. Um, now I can obviously trade. Again, I kind of have to take takes now i have rook f8 here which is pretty standard i can also play a6 maybe but I, i'm kind of worried that if i don't go rook f8 he's just going to take and i'm going to end up in trouble and i think i just made a mistake anyway but 
Yeah, I'm being a little bit too loosey goosey here. A little bit too loosey goosey. Like I should have just traded and gone rook f8. I don't. Know. Why did I do this? Although knight h4, I do have bishop f6, I guess. Okay, plays rook c1, so he actually lets me just trade the knights, which I'm, I'm very happy about. Because if I can't just trade the knights here, I can get into some trouble. Like, I was very worried about knight h4, so I'm going to trade. I'm going to go c6 here. Again, I feel like I'm moving too fast, but who cares? He takes, I just take with a pawn, I guess. His bishop is actually on the wrong side of the board a little bit, too. Like, it's not really doing a whole lot here. So even though my knight's wrong, if he could somehow go like bishop d2 or bishop e1... His bishop will be well placed, but it's only aiming at a pawn. So, I, of course, I take with a pawn. I go bishop d8, obviously. Um, I think I should be okay here, unless unless there's something obvious that I'm missing. I feel like simplified position feels pretty dry. Just not a whole lot going on. Let's see what he's going to do here. I also have ideas like rook f3 at some point as well. So... A lot of stuff going on here. Feels okay to me though. Objectively, I feel like I should be fine. I'm not not really sure how fine I should be. But I feel like I should be fine. I think I'm gonna go here. I'm actually playing this. I'm I'm really playing this like Nepo for some reason. I'm starting to move really fast and just blitz every move like Nepo does. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm gonna assume it's a bad thing, but we'll see. Because I'm really playing this like Nepo. This is like where I'm just mi making every move instantly, like just true Nepo style. Just fan down. Okay, so playing this like true Nepo style. That's what he does. Uh, oh, Fabiano already drew his game to get to six. So, uh, yeah, Fabiano and Levon draw. I mean, again, this is the one issue with the format is everyone's just drawing here at the end to get to the uh, to just get to the um, get to the top eight because beyond that, nothing else matters really. So. Okay, what is he going to play? e5 allows d5. d5, I trade and go c5. So I think I'm okay here. I'm way up on the clock, which, like I said, I'm, I'm doing my very best Nepo impression here. The thing is, I have to be careful. Knight h4 maybe is a threat. But who cares? Like I said before, who cares at all? Um, now, the funny thing is, I can maybe even sack and go d5 and knight c4, which seems kind of interesting here. I don't know if it's a good move. It seems kind of interesting. Maybe more than a little interesting, actually. I think it maybe is just interest, just good, possibly. It goes rook c1. So he actually, he gives me this opportunity to sack on f3. But again, I don't really buy it. I can go c5 takes takes, which seems okay. Also just play like rook d8, maybe. Hmm. E f oh, what about e wait? e5 takes 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 queen h3, f4. Idea, but it doesn't look right. Hmm. Maybe I can go queen d8. I really want to somehow play d5 or c5. Not quite sure how to make it work. That's the only problem. Actually, you know what? I think queen d8 is just fine. I'm just going to go queen d8 and just ask him what he's doing here. And I'm going to go c5 takes and then like rook d7 or here, 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 and then some, some sort of trick, I think. I don't know what my trick is, but I feel like I should have some trick. Although, as I said before, I am still moving way too fast in this game. I mean, I know I'm up two minutes, but... We'll see. We shall see. Okay, it goes queen e2. I don't like queen e2 for some reason. That feels very slightly wrong, but I don't actually have a way to punish him, so maybe I just sit, sit around and chill, and I just go like, yeah, I'm just going to sit and chill. I'm going to play rook d7, maybe c5 and take with the pawn, maybe not take with the pawn, but I'm just going to sit back and chill here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be chillaxing. It was queen a2, which is a, which is a solid move. Um, I actually didn't see that, but it doesn't really matter. I just go queen e8 or e7. I guess I'll go to... What makes the most sense, I guess, is the question. I guess e7 should make the most sense, because now on queen a3, he doesn't target, whereas queen e8, queen a3 targets. But definitely really turning up the heat on the clock here. That's what I'm doing. Like This is why Nepo's style is always very annoying. Because he just plays all these quick moves, and you feel like you're a little bit better, but then you have no time, and then inevitably you end up losing the game because you can't you can't be precise. And of course, it's always a little bit on the edge. The rook d3 does allow some d5. I'm not very concerned by that. Um, again, the thing is, how do I play c5 here? I really want to go c5 takes takes, but he has knight e5 here. 
So if he has knight e5, I mean, king h7 feels loose, too loose. Hmm, how do I do this? d5, knight e5, rook d8, ed5. Rook... Oh, wait, no, that hangs material. Okay, so let's go here. Just going to keep chilling, not, not, not rush anything here. Really not in the mood to rush at all. I always have c5. I mean, I have rook d8 maybe. I didn't go rook d8 because I thought there was some bishop h4 move. That's why I'm doing it like this. Again, time is time is a big issue here for white. This is the biggest issue for white is time. Time, time, time. See what's become of me. I can go c5. I can also play just d5. I don't know if d5 is right though because he has bishop e5 and bishop c7. I mean, I always have some knight c4 too. I think I think again, I'm moving. I'm just playing way too fast in this game. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am. I'm actually doing what I did last week, where like I, I played fine, and at the very end, I um I got very careless, and bad things seemed to happen. B1. I can play queen b4, knight c4 maybe. Queen b4 is bishop e5. Queen d8 is obviously logical. Queen d8, bishop e5. e5 takes, takes, takes. Ed5, rook d5, rook g3. Five ed5. Ed4. I don't see it though. I don't see it, so I'm going to play queen d8. I expect bishop e5, then I go c5, and I mean. Again, probably not much I can do to win the game, but I should not lose the game, which is really all that all that matters at this point. Uh, much like last week, I'm in, I'm in very good shape to, to finish top eight. The only question is, can I do more than that? Well, um, if I if I take with the rookie is rook g three, so this is a safe free move. Let's see what he's gonna do. I think I'm actually doing completely fine here because my next move is knight c six. If I get knight c6 in, then my knight gets back. I mean, I have open diagonal. Also, material is very limited already. Like, we're already pretty low on... Well, I guess we're not low on material, but things are really simplifying to where we have very open position, very open structure, not a lot happening. Maybe I could have played rook d5 there, but whatever. And now, once I get knight c6, I mean, I just can't really be worse. Doesn't mean I can win, but I, I can't be worse with this diagonal. And my king is very, very safe. So I'm guessing this will be a draw pretty soon. Although if he gets much lower on time, there is some chance that I'm going to try to cheese him or keep the game going and try try to win. On the flip side, how hard should I try? Because when I look at this top eight right now, he is one of the weaker players in the top eight. So I could maybe play him in the. I could maybe play him in. Um, I could maybe play him in this in this uh, in the knockout, but I, I don't think I can really game it where like get, I give him the draw and somehow I magically play him because it's only round eight. But if I look at this top eight, he's probably the least scary player um, in this top eight. So that is worth noting. So he goes there. I mean, I can obviously trade. I guess I should just trade. Put like bishop f8 or king h8. Takes the bishop. Okay, I dropped the bishop back, of course. Maybe bishop b6 was also a move, but again, this is not very, uh, very exciting. This should be a draw. I mean, I have knight b4. I always go like king h8, although the funny thing is my, my pieces are a little bit, little bit iffy. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go here, queen d7, queen f7. Just keep it very simple. Just, just no nonsense, basically. Don't wanna allow any hanky panky here. Just keep it really, really basic. I can obviously trade the knights. I think I should, just go here. Yeah, just, just avoid anything funky. Go here, I have queen e1. I will probably put the pawn on a6 at some point. I don't know quite when, but I probably will. Go here, and again, I mean, he can go a5 if he wants to, but with, with very limited time, I don't really see how I can lose this, as, as I said before. Okay, he goes queen c2, which is interesting, because I do have queen f5. I also go like rook b7, maybe, but again, there's no need to get really creative. It's not a really good, good time to be creative, I guess I would say, so I'll just go here. Keep this very, very basic. I mean, obviously it's queen c8, but again, just a6 or something. Oh, wait, there's bishop c5. Oh, my. Oh, geez. What did I just do? I missed bishop c5 completely. Uh, well, that's quite bril brilliantly poor by me. Um, wait, a6, bishop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait a second. Bishop c5, queen e1. Oh, no, bishop c5, I have queen e1. Never mind. Bishop c5, queen e1, and rook f7. Okay, queen e5, g3, rook f7. So nothing's actually hanging here, which is also kind of weird. Nothing's actually hanging. So how do I do this? Um, hmm. 
Nothing is actually hanging. Like, actually. I can also just go queen e7, maybe. Don't like it at all, but I think it's a reasonable try. Oh, I've definitely misplayed this, though. Hmm. Getting careless again here at the end of this tournament. Queen e7, maybe? Still should be okay, though. But now I'm definitely gonna, now I'm definitely in trouble. So I, I, now I definitely have to try to force a draw. Or maybe I should have, yeah, I probably actually, my mistake was right here. I should have gone bishop d6 and king h7, got the active bishop. That I think was my mistake here. Because now, still fine, but I mean, I've definitely misplayed this without a doubt. Oh, he does go bishop c5 anyway. But I thought now, wait, now I can check and go queen e5, I thought. Or g3, rook f7, and I'm just stable. Check. Rook g3, rook f7, and I'm just stable. Stably holding here. Okay, good. So now, 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 now I hold. Now, now I hold. I also have like a sunray here with the queen. Nice classic sunray. Um, so it's also quite decent. He's thinking too long here. He needs to just force the draw here. Because otherwise, there's a decent chance I can cheese him. Thing is, I don't actually... I think I'm just going to... Okay, you know what? Let's do the double-double. Let's go check, check. Let's go here. And now I'm going to play on. I'm going to be sneaky. Let's be Mr. Sneaky. Because I cannot possibly lose this position. So there's no good reason not to just keep playing on. He takes, and do I check and do the tickle tickle again? Let's do the tickle tickle. Do the tickle tickle. Let's take. Oh, I made the threefold. Ah, I thought that was two. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I can't, I can't win probably, but oh well. I guess just queen c5 and it's a draw anyway, but I, I'm still disappointed in myself for that. That's still disappointing. Anyway, it's a draw. It's what it is. But I'm disappointed in myself for, uh, for doing that. Oh, well. That's life. That's how it goes. Anyway, all right. Eh, that's what it is.